Hi guys, Jeff with Slayers Racing. Today I'd like to talk about the Tokyo Mods manual cam chain tensioner for the KTM uh, 450 and 500, 17 through 19, and the same thing for the Husqvarna 450 to 501, same years. So the stock cam chain tensioner, which is kind of buried in here, it's this piece right there. That's the stock cam chain tensioner. And that obviously keeps tension on this, the cam chain, by pushing on this pad right here. And I'm really tired of this thing having a ticking sound. So it's not a real loud sound, but it's tick, 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 tick. Once the motor's really warmed up, sounds like you got loose, uh, you know, the valves need adjusted, which would be this adjustment right here where my finger is. But the valve adjustment on this bike is totally within spec. The thing still has that noise. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to change it out to this Tokyo Mods cam chain tensioner. And that should get rid of the noise. So the first thing you have to do is remove the seat and the tank and then the valve cover. The valve cover being the cover that sits right here. It's held on four bolts. If you can't make it that far, if you're struggling to get to there, stop. Take it to a seasoned mechanic. Get some help. And I don't really recommend this job for, for a total beginner uh, guy trying to do his home tuning. Give it a shot if you want, but not my recommendation. So once you get this cover off, you're going to have to find top dead center. So you could uh, do it the factory way, and that is pull off this, the ignition cover, which means you have to drain the oil, and put a wrench on the end of the crankshaft and rotate the motor. And then, I didn't even look in the manual, but most of these four strokes have got a bolt in the bottom that's got a great, a real thick, a super thick copper washer on it. And that's where there's a locating detent right there where that bolt is. I don't think you really need to go to that extent, so I just did this the easiest way possible. I removed the spark plug, that just takes a 14 millimeter deep well socket. And then my bike has an automatic clutch, you can see the recluse master cylinder right there. So with the recluse, when it's properly set, you can't rotate the motor with the rear wheel, which is what I want to do. You know, I just want to grab the wheel and do that and rotate the motor and in order to do that you want to stick it in a higher gear like fourth or fifth gear but with the recluse you can't uh, unless you back out the adjuster which is real simple so just uh, mark what it was before and how many turns um, it was you know what the setting was and then just back it out until there's until uh, you feel don't feel any tension on this adjusting screw here, then it's just like having a manual clutch. So now it's fully engaged and I can rotate the motor with the rear wheel assembly. So I've already done that. And so you can get, so you want it on top dead center, but you have to be on the right stroke. Uh, you have to be on the power stroke. So now I'm over here on the right side of the bike, spark plug is out. I just got a probe here that I've stuck down inside the spark plug hole. You can use a you know a little skinny screwdriver or a piece of welding rod or just whatever you have, but don't stick it down in there when the piston's at bottom dead center, because as it comes up, it's gonna bind this up. You're gonna, gonna make a little problem there. So when you get it close to top dead center, then you can feel it with this as you're manipulating uh, rear wheel assembly to rotate the engine. And when you have it on top dead center, the, the cam lobes, which are, yeah, there you go, you can see it right down there. Kind of hard to see. But you want the bottom, the base circle of the cam lobe up. So the bottom of the cam, basically. It's called the base circle. It's just the big round part, excuse me, big round part of the bottom of the cam. You want that up. Now the instructions are wrong on that. The instructions say the cam should be uh, pointing 
Cam Loeb should be up. They, they made a simple mistake there. I'll call them and mention it to them and I'll get it corrected. But the base circle has to be up because you don't want any tension. It's just like when you're adjusting the valves and you want the base circle up so that there's no tension on the rocker arms. So now when you grab the rocker arm right here where my fingers are, you should be able to move them up and down. You can hear that noise. That means that there's free play. You do that on both rocker arms. So at that point, there's no tension to speak of. I mean, a reduced amount of tension on the cam chain tensioner. So that's where it needs to be positioned before you take the old tensioner out. So I'll move back over here real quick. Sorry, you know, I, I do most of these videos by myself. My wife helps on some. Uh, I don't like to bug her too often. So I've already taken the old one out. This is what the old tensioner looks like. It's just held in with two bolts. Just takes a, like a long six millimeter socket is what I used with a quarter inch drive. Real easy to take out. And then I've already put in the new Tokyo Mods cam chain tensioner. And the instructions on from here are pretty, pretty easy. They um, tell you to screw the bolts part way in. And then, let's see, I'm not sure exactly what it told, told me there, but anyhow, you want a two millimeter gap right here. So just get out of whatever you have for measuring device. I used a pair of calipers and I just measured right there with my calipers. I just set them at two millimeters. That's where I have two millimeter gap, so both bolts are in to where that gap is consistent all the way around here. And then the adjuster, I'm sorry there's so much movement on this, but it's really hard for me to watch through the camera while I'm doing this. Uh, anyhow, so you back off this lock nut and you screw this adjusting bolt in here until it touches, until I just did it with my bare hands, but there is a slot in here for a screwdriver. And you just screw it in until, it, you know, it's hitting the um, cam chain tensioner pad, which is this piece up here. It's that piece right there. And it's a big, long piece that goes down through here and it pivots back and forth. And the adjuster pushes on that. So you just, Push, uh, screw this in until you've got good tension right there on that pad. Not hard, just finger tight. And then you go ahead and tighten these bolts down. So this was a two millimeter gap. And now when you tighten these bolts down, you will have a two millimeter preload on the tensioner, which is what they want. That's what Tokyo Mods requires in their setup. And then it's, you know, from there, it's, it's just time to put the valve cover back on, the tank back on, the seat go for a ride. So let me go back to the, to the noise that uh, it creates. So when the, when the valves are need out of adjustment, which would be this adjustment down in here, you know, you get a constant ticking noise, tick, tick, tick. When the cam chain tensioner has an issue, it's an inconsistent ticking noise. So it happens more when you're decelerating, you'll hear it kind of a, almost a rattly sound, not, a really soft kind of a rattle, rattly ticky sound, um, but it's kind of um, inconsistent when you'll hear it. It's not constant like a, like a loose valve adjustment. So it's a, it kind of comes and goes depending on where you are on the throttle. If you're hard on the throttle, you're not going to hear it. It's more when you're backing out of it, getting back on it, you know, that type of thing where you'll hear just this mild little ticky, rattly sound in your motor, which is me being a long-time engine builder, that's very annoying. Plus, I know the, the long-term effect of that is, and that means that the cam chain is not tight on the sprocket, so it's going to wear the sprocket out a little sooner. It's going to wear the chain out a little bit sooner. Uh, and also, the timing is not perfect. The cam timing is not perfect at that point because the chain is sloppy. So, that's really all there is to it, guys. If you want to get rid of that noise and make your bike... Uh, last a little longer I'm in mean, the cam chain and cam sprockets last a little longer and uh, possibly have a little bit better performance 
and this is the way to go. It's, I don't know what it costs. They're on our website, slavensracing.com. But uh, I'm sure it's a very fair price point if I remember right. It seems like it was around $90, $100, somewhere in there. And it's all built, machined. Now it's a very nice piece. That's all for now.